Hello Team 7, how are you? It was fantastic to see your work and to see your 100 ideas for innovation. Very good, diligent work. And it looks like you're beginning to center on the problem. See, I'm taking the time to find it, which means it's good. You had many, many problems that you look at. But it looks like you're beginning to center on the problem of occasional yoga practitioners, and that's the operative word here, occasional, that cannot regularly attend professional classes due to lack of time, motivation, or shyness from exercising in bigger groups. Let me caution you, it is important not to use the problem statement as a way to pitch a solution. And in fact, you are using the word solution here. We will get to it later in the process, but for the time being, it's important for you to suspend your solution thinking and create space in your mind to think about the underlying problem. And here is why this is so important. The kinds of people who are occasional yoga practitioners, who either lack like time or motivation or are shy, they might be very different people with different motivations. Now, what you are offering is that, hey, there is a problem of correcting your yoga poses and therefore not taking full advantage of this wonderful art. So let's look at it further. Here are the questions that you can be asking to better understand the problem set. So, first of all, why are yoga poses difficult to correct? To correct. Why this is an important question? Well, ultimately, when you do come to the question of solutions, the difficulty in correcting may mean different solutions. For example, it can be a simple photo book of proper poses, right? Maybe that solves the trick and it's probably a cheaper way to solve the problem. There is also the possibility of a yoga peloton. And the likelihood of a yoga peloton increases if the correction problem is difficult to solve. Or maybe it is so difficult that it is in fact something that requires a correction AI that looks at you specifically and recommends very precise ways of correcting your posture. Now, which way you go, and we already have at a minimum three possible solutions, depends on the difficulty, on the difficulty of solving the problem. Now, furthermore, let's understand what kinds of poses poses are difficult to correct. And here is why this is important again. If you begin exploring a variety of solutions, if there, are, there is only some set of poses that are difficult to correct and you need an instructor, well, maybe you can provide training for yoga teachers on poses that are difficult to correct and this is what they would focus their foundational training on, right? That could be a different solution, right? But maybe if all poses are difficult to correct and require personalized approach, well, maybe yes, in that case, yes. This is what you need. You, the, you need the AI correction mechanism that's very personalized. So all I'm trying to show you here is there are many different possibilities and it depends on how you define the problem. So I hope you enjoy this process and I wanna wish you Good luck.